Hi, welcome to the Restaurant and Retail Marketing Flash Briefing. I'm your host, Michelle Brisbois. Let's get started. Happy Valentine's Day. It's a big uh, day, obviously, for florists, but restaurants too. So I thought I'd check out some interesting stats, random bits about Valentine's Day. Uh, This is from goodhousekeeping.com. And uh, so I'm just picking out a couple here, which I think might be interesting. Um, 27.6 million American households gave Valentine's Day presents to their pet dogs in 2020. More than 17.1 million picked up gifts for their cats. American households spent an estimated 75, uh, sorry, 751.3 million on gifts for their pets on Valentine's Day. So, you know, if you're taking orders and you're doing a little takeout, you know, throw in some dog biscuits in the oven, basically just make cookies without sugar. You can easily find a recipe online if you don't have one. Uh, But, you know, something for the pet will certainly maybe cement the love of your customers. So there's one. Uh, Another one that I thought was interesting was about how many people get engaged on Valentine's Day. Um, So six million couples get typically get engaged on February 14th. And uh, Valentine's Day was voted the best day of the year to propose. And of those people who voted, 40% were men. So uh, if a couple you know is in your restaurant or doing pickup and you know that there's a proposal, uh, put in a little note, uh, maybe give them a little gift card for, I don't know, 20 bucks off if they come back uh, on their first anniversary. Uh, Try to get become part of the rituals as if someone's starting a new family and you're the place they want to go where they've got that memory where they got engaged, then you're going to get... Uh, the uh, family dinners, you're going to get the holidays, you're going to get all those special occasions as they go through their life as a family. So it's a a good one to make that really special for them. So I hope Valentine's Day is great wherever you are, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. So come on, let's get out.